So this question says the line y equals kx plus 4, which I'm going to write down. And because this looks like y equals mx plus b, I'm going to just write that down to remind myself of the similarities there before I continue on. So uh, the line y equals kx plus 4, where k is a constant, is graphed in the xy plane. So anytime I read that, I just draw an xy plane. May or may not need it. If the line contains the point c comma d, Okay, so I don't know where C comma D is, but I do know that that means that C represents like an X value, D represents a Y value. And we're told that C does not equal zero and D does not equal zero. What is the slope of the line in terms of C and D? Oh, well actually that takes me right back up to this relationship. So I know that in a y equals mx plus b equation, m is the slope. Well, if I have y equals kx plus 4, right, that means that k is the same position where m would be, and therefore k is the slope. Now, how do I connect this c comma d into my y equals kx plus 4. Well, because I know that c is an x value, and I know that y, I'm sorry, d is a y value, I could rewrite this equation here as instead of y equals, I can call it d equals k, and then instead of x, I can call it c, and then plus 4. Now, how, why am I able to do that? Well, I'm treating this like I actually know the value of C and D. If I knew what those numbers were, right, if you knew what the ordered pair was that the line went through, and then you were asked to determine the slope, you would just go and plug in, right, so let's just do an example. If we knew that C equal 2 and D equal 3, then you would say, okay, that means the line goes through the ordered pair 2 comma 3, and if the question is asking me to determine the slope, from a y equals kx plus 4 equation, then I could just plug in 3 for y, plug in 2 for x, and then I only have k as the missing variable, or in this case constant, to solve for, and that would be my slope. So in essence, I'm doing the exact same thing here. It just looks weird because I don't know the number for c, or I'm sorry, for d, or the number value of c. But I can see that in my answer choices, all of them have C and D in it. So I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track. So now again, because I want to solve for K, I am going to isolate K. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I'm left with D minus 4 equals K C. And then I'm going to divide both sides by C. So then I'm left with K is equal to D minus 4 over C which is D minus 4 over C, which is answer choice A.